hobbies and hyperfocus, a channel about cross stitch, and sometimes my other hobbies or things that I'm hyper focused on. Um, my name is Pam. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm coming to you on August 18th, 2024 from Treaty 6 territory, which is Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada, which is the homelands of the Dene, Cree, Nakoda, Lakota, Dakota, and the Métis. I think I'm missing one. I hope not. I've practiced this over and over again. And uh, if you're new here, it doesn't really get any better. I'm just weird and awkward. And I'm trying to get better, but I hope you'll stay anyway and maybe give me some pointers down below for what I can do to make this better um, if you're returning. Thank you for sticking with me again. I know I'm super awkward and I don't know what I'm doing. Um, if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you're not into it, give us a thumbs down. Doesn't, doesn't really hurt. I just would like to know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I'm not gaining traction. <laughs> I'm not. The channel's not growing, and I think that it might be something I'm doing, and if anyone can point that out, please. Yay! Yes, I found out that I thought all the reactions that happened were only in photo booth, and they're not. They're just something to do with the Mac um, FaceTime camera that I'm using, and so anytime I do that, it will work. Um, the same as it was happening for uh, Sherry at Just So Sherry. Uh, she was kind of surprised when she did that and this happened. <laughs> so yeah, fireworks happen, two thumbs up. Okay. Um, like I said, it's uh, Sunday, August 18th and I am a pagan person and one of the things I do every day is I do do a tarot drawing and this is from This Might Hurt Tarot Deck and it's the sun. And this is like the third time I've uh, um, filmed this. My kid keeps coming down and disturbing me and I'm getting a little bit nervous about trying to do this. So. I was wondering if it was the tarot that was making people uncomfortable because it's like I know a few other people do it and everybody thinks I'm just copying everybody and I am because it seemed like a great idea it's a good way of other people getting to know my life and it's a good jumping off point for me um, in kind of giving me a prompt of what to talk about. So I'm going to read to you from the little thing that tells you about this card. The sun, number 19. Oh, happy day. In the light of the sun, everything is bright and joyful. Suddenly isolation and day-to-day -day drudgery fall away and you feel yourself as part of an interconnected, vibrant world. It makes you feel alive. You are blessedly whole, able to jubilantly experience the spiritual in the physical world. A child rides out of a garden in a burst of freedom. I can't think of a better metaphor for happiness than riding on dogs. When the sun card comes for you, you must enjoy the day. Go outside, eat ice cream, lay in the grass, and think about how you have are just a small part of a vast and glorious universe. As Pollock notes, enlightenment is an experience, not an idea. The sun card is a picture of that experience. It is important to remember that the sun depicts a moment, not a perpetual state. Constant sun will make a desert of a verdant garden. 
Human beings are built to oscillate between modes of being. What the sun signifies is seeing the world with a sense of wonder. Have you ever looked at something simple and found it made you smile with delight? That is what the sun card is all about. So, this is something that I've been seeking for a long time. Not necessarily the sun card or riding on a dog. But just that feeling of interconnectedness. That's something that's been very, very difficult for me. Um, not only do I, am I super, super awkward, I often work from home. And that means that I'm not with my coworkers. And even when we are with the coworkers at the office, um, my team isn't part of the larger interconnected office team. We, we, we support all those teams, but we're not considered part of the team. And it's something that I've been trying to change in our environment for a while. Um, I've been seeking, trying to be part of this community. And that's why I've been asking, like, what, what can make me more connected to other people? Like, how do I get my name out there? How do I become part of others that I can hear about or join or start something? And I'm not good at just starting things on my own. Um, I, I feel awkward inviting people to like stitch along with me because I'm nobody. I'm just absolutely nobody. And so it feels weird. I'm going to put the rest of my hair back. It feels weird to me to start my own stitch along yet because I'm just, I'm just Pam. I'm just this weird hyper focusy, focusy uh, ADHD stitcher mom from Canada. And so I have to remember that everybody starts out that way. Most people. I mean, maybe famous people don't start out that way. But that this is only temporary. But if you do have any ideas, if you can leave them down below, like the only thing that I can't change is where I film. Um, I film on my computer and I have a desktop computer because I work with computers. So I work, I don't work with my laptop. I work with my desktop and it is in this room and this is the best room for me. This is my office. And this is where I'm least, least likely to have kids come through or my husband complaining or a dog jump up and knock something over. So this is where I film. Uh, I've tried to think of anywhere else in my house that I could film. I just, there is no place else I can film. So other than where I'm filming, what can I change? Uh, I'm trying a few other things. My hair is bothering me. Um, that I'm going to try and do over time. Like I've tried to change my intro thing because I thought maybe that was turning people off. Um, I like the tarot thing. I'm probably not going to drop that. I might move it to a different part of my video, but I like to do it in the front of the video. I got rid of the the thing that I'm having a very hard time with this uh, right over here. I used to have a little board that had like hobbies and hyper focus and what episode I was on and my cat knocked that over and I'm, rather than buy a third one, I just decided to like drop it because it's not doing any good and it looks stupid. So I got rid of that. Um, once in a while you might see me burning a candle again, not for aesthetics. My cat's litter box is over there. So sometimes it's stinky. So that's more than anyone ever needed to know about me. But I thought I would just go over what I have stitched in the last two weeks. Um, I keep track of it on Notion. I am very, very, very bad at doing a before and after picture, so I'm sorry I don't have one. 
Um, so let's start with what I worked on the day after, like after I <coughs> filmed the video. So this is our Cathedral Woods Goddess and I'm having a very hard time with this positioning thing. Here we go. Um, kind of hard to see, but this is all metallics down here. And here are our watercolors. Uh, I did buy the watercolors and some of the metallics. I'm still waiting on the, the gold that is most of the metallic in this one. There's something going on with Krynik and it's very hard to get some of the colors. So, um, this is Cathedral Woods Goddess by Mirabilia. And it's on a 32 count. This is a Roxy Floss Co. called Stoneware. Uh, I picked it out when I was at Stitch North. I think it looks really good because it's like an autumn-y sort of khaki color. Which I think is kind of an autumn leaf kind of look. I don't know. Other people probably don't wouldn't pick this color. But I think it works really good with this pattern. Uh, usually you see people who have converted the lady because all of Mirabilia's ladies are white. Very, very white. But I thought because I am also very, very white, this one kind of speaks to me. So I just left her as is, um, as called for. And I'm hoping that the hamster that my daughter let go in this room has not run away again. I guess if he runs away, she has to go find him. So I really love doing fancy ladies. And you'll see I have at least one more that I'm doing. And like, I really, really, I did not find the, the Krynik that hard to do on this one. Other ones I found it super hard to do. But this one I really, really like. And I'm hoping that I can... <gasps> It's all backwards and it just drives me nuts. I'm hoping that I can get the gold soon. I ha I'm on a uh, notify me list at 123 Stitch when it comes in. And yes, you'll always see that I'll have my needle in there because otherwise I'll lose it. So yeah, this is where I am with Cathedral Woods Goddess. Um, for this one, I started at the middle and went up. I usually start at the middle and go up. Um, this one is on a paper pattern, which honestly drives me up the fucking wall. I hate, hate paper patterns. And I wish that there was a way that I could convert them without having to, um, manually do a lot of work. Because I also, the fact that I can use a computer and the fact that I do not want to do that during my hobby, but I would prefer 10 out of 10 times to use either Pattern Keeper or, or Markup at RX. I would just, I would be so much happier if I could just get paper patterns into that. And I know people have done it, but I also just don't have the patience or the interest to do that, to spend hours wiggling and squiggling it and like getting it just perfect I can't so I just if I if I can't get it in within like 10 or 20 minutes I don't try it at all like I just give up okay the second thing I worked on and I worked on this two days to get to five hours um I don't know what I have and haven't said now because this is like the 10th time I've actually started filming this and then my kid would come down or something would interrupt me and I'd start all over again. So hopefully I don't get interrupted again. Hopefully the hamster hasn't disco um, discovered a way out or the kid doesn't come down. But one thing that I had been doing before is that I was doing five days 
whatever amount of stitching that was, I would do five days of stitching on each pattern and then move to the next. We found the hamster. The hamster did get out of the ball. He was running around down here. That was all filmed. I'm hopefully, I have cut that all out. I am not very happy about having the hamster down here because he gets out every time. She gets mad. Okay, so I don't know what I've said or what I haven't said at this point. I just want to get this over with so I can get on with all the other things I need to get done, like cleaning this stupid office, putting up some of the, ah, over here, getting some of those put away. Um, I have a whole bunch of them that have to be put away. I have to cut a whole bunch of floss drops and put them all away over here. Okay. What I used to do for my projects is that I would do five days. And depending on the day, if it's just after work, I might, if I'm lucky, get 20 minutes to work on something. If it's a weekend, I might get a whole day. So it was kind of hit and miss as to how much time I was spending. And since almost almost all of my patterns right now are paper patterns which are my not are my least favorite way of doing cross stitch like I said because they're paper patterns I don't know how many stitches I'm doing I would know that if I could use a digital format but I don't and I'm not gonna count them so I've been doing time tracking instead because people always ask me how long does it take you to do that so I just set a thing on my watch and then turn it like just time it basically the same way I do at work to time a task and I went from doing five days or five different sessions to doing five hours and I thought maybe that would give me a little bit more time or a little bit more variety in what I'm stitching and I also use tiny, the tiny decisions wheel because otherwise I won't know what I want to stitch and I'll just do nothing if it's not laid out for me my brain just you know it can't make a decision it's too many decisions so after the cathedral would goddess after I'd done five hours on her I moved on and the tiny decisions wheel said Al Abalonia, Abalonias, apple trees. So this is on a 40 count Roxy and Flosco Speculus. Um, I probably should have just got an eighth because now I need the same size. Like I need this quart, fat quarter for another project and I'm going to have to order another one because I need an entire fat quarter. Anyway. This is all on Roxy Floss Co. Speculus with Roxy Floss Co. Co. Floss. I'm really liking it. It's one over one. Uh, how do I turn? Where's the camera that I can turn? One over one. So, or one over two. So it's going really well. I did sub out this color. This color here. The dark green what they had was basically a black and I looked at the original what was originally in there um, I can't remember what the, the what the gentle arts was but it was black and I'm like oh. I don't really like the black on that. I wanted green. So like it looked too too stark. So I did switch that to um what the pattern had suggested for DMC. So this this one is DMC. But everything else is um is the Roxy Flasco that I got at Stitch North. And 
I don't know if I picked too light of a color. You can't really see it on here. You can see it more in person. But I really like, I'm really looking forward to getting down. Like, I think the, the fox is over here. Like, I'm really looking forward to getting to the fox because foxes are my fav one of my favorite animals. So that's why I picked this. This is my first, um, first pattern that I've done from the Artsy Housewife. And I have a few more that I want to do. Hello and welcome back. Um, I just cut my losses on yesterday. Um, my husband kept coming into the kitchen and coming down and starting the laundry and it just, everybody kept coming down and, and visiting while I was trying to get things done. And so um, it is now Monday, August 19th. Yeah, 19th because yesterday was the 18th and it's a new day and this is my lunch break and we've pulled another card this is the nine of wands today's card is the nine of wands and this is the i'm still standing card um generally it's the i've been through some stuff but i keep getting back up and that's kind of how i feel about today um so far today Got up, I walked the dog. I came downstairs, went to work. I'm trying to find the cat who got out. I know where she is. She's just being a jerk. And the dog rolled in choke cherries, so now my white dog has choke cherry stains all over him. I will probably insert a picture over here somewhere. So yeah, I'm still standing. I'm still here. I'm gonna try this again. Um, I don't, I think we were, we finished El, I do not know how to say that if it's El Bonias, Abalonia, but okay, after Abalonia, let me just grab my notion here. There we go. After Abalonia, I got my stuff for my new new project that I started last week, and that was I will just put it on here. Oh, that's the back. Let's not put that. All right. So this is the very beginning of our um, Halloween Quaker, and so far I started at the moon. So I started here and then I moved up to the ledge. Uh, the moon is actually in the light effects, the glow in the dark, the MC light effects, because I wanted it to glow in the dark when it's done. There's only this moon, I think there's a star and some ghosties, and that's it in this white color. So I thought, okay, I'll just do it in glow in the dark. Oh my God, is that stuff difficult to work with? Um, if you have any suggestions on how to get that to not fray and tangle and just be disgusting. Sorry, there's a fly in here. The children also keep leaving the door open for the dog to go out on the deck and that means the fly is coming in because it's raining out. But yeah, this is my new start. It's on Picture This Plus Murky. Um, so you can see, ah, where is it? There's the camera. You can see, like, I just did the witch and the beginning of the moon. Um, also, we'll be working on this, I hope, in the next couple weeks. I worked five hours on this, and that's as far as I got. So it's on 40, 40 count, picture this plus murky, um, with a combination of classic color works. Yeah, classic color works. Uh, called for the DMC uh, light effects and black and uh, some other DMC like the grays 
so. I kind of like it. It kind of looks like the moon. Like, to me, this looks like the moon. Like, the surface of the moon. I was hoping to start the um, mod tiny modernist bell pull. Sorry, I'm also technically on my lunch hour at work, so my um, remote desktop keeps dinging in the background. Uh, I was hoping to start with everyone else today on the um, moon phases bell pull, but it takes forever to get anything from over here in terms of fabric and I think Kaylee and I had agreed on a piece of fabric. I don't know if she was able to send it yet. I haven't gotten a, an invoice. I'm hoping that she sent it. Um, if not, I know tonight is the super moon, so I won't start tonight. If I get it in time for the new moon, I'll start for the new moon. Otherwise, I'll start on the next new moon, full moon. And then after Halloween, did I show this one? Oh, I guess I didn't show this one. So this is my, whoops, upside down. This is my No Time Like the Present. So this is the Modern Folk Embroidery um, 2024 Stitch Along. Uh, this one is also on 40 count, but this is on Verdal, which is super soft. And I got this color from Dying for Cross Stitch, and it's the December fabric of the month. And I'm just doing it on with the 907. I don't know what color the purple is. I can't, it's not, I don't have my notes here. And then the animals are all done in 3371, because I thought that would look nice. Uh, I am not going to finish it by the end of 2024, but I still put 2024 on it. And I did five hours on this. And in that five hours, I did the bottom of this squirrel, like this, that uh, 2024 corner there. And then I was at the top of this arch. So then I was at the top of the arch and I did this section of the arch. So it takes a really long time because it is a lot of stitches and I do not know how far along I am because I didn't write the stats down. Maybe 15%. I'll have to check next time. I will check, but I know I have a picture of this one. And so I will put it up here probably. And um, so where I was before and where I am now, I mean, for the Halloween Quaker, I had just started it. I got the fabric, I got the, the few specialty flosses, and I was like, I'm gonna start this one. So I didn't have anywhere that it started. Then I worked on my other Mirabilia, which is the um, September's Sapphire Fairy. And I will fold it up so you can see it. So I think I took a picture. If I have a picture, I'll put it up. If not, I won't. Um, oop, that's upside down. So this is, maybe? Yeah, because this is the bottom of her dress. So this is um, on a 32 count even weave unnamed fabric by Dying for Rolanda that I got at Stitch North. And I'm liking this. I'm really starting, I just did a lot of the blues. So I did all these blues in here. I'm working, working down the blues. And so this will be like this swoopy thing that comes across her, um, comes across her skirt and then comes down. I, it's a sash or I don't know, but that's about all I did in five hours. There wasn't a lot of picking it out. It just, I just didn't do a lot. And I did this one four sessions to get four five hours. Uh, I totally took a break on Wednesday to go out and play trivia with my friends. 
Liliana and her husband and it was like the first time I've gone out and done something without the kids for months. Then the last one I worked on is Rob's piece for our round robin. Yeah. And I'm going down. I'm doing this. Uh, eh, I don't know where my thing went. There we go. So I'm doing this section down here. And it is it is driving me bonkers. I don't know what it is with this pattern. It seems simple, but I had it down to here. Like I had it all the way down to the bottom. And then I realized that up here I was off by one, which threw everything off and it didn't match up. And I was just, so I ripped it all out and I decided I was gonna try the black bit instead for now. If you can hear, that's my kid running back and forth across the living room, playing with the dog. Um, he just had lunch. And I'm stuck. I'm working from home because the kids are off and I don't have a day camp for them this week. So the small one is going to turn seven on Wednesday. So I was going to do some stuff in the afternoons with them. If I can get away from work early enough. So, so yeah, so this is blue morpho, but make it green. And it's on a, I think it's a 36 count, um, gray fabric. That's all it said from the thing, gray fabric. We've got some Simply Shaker Black Licorice is the black, DMC White is the white, and what is this one, the green one? The green one is spring grass and that's Rob's. I have until the end of September to get this done and hopefully the next time I come back to it I don't spend five hours stitching and frogging and stitching and frogging because yikes. Um, so those were all the whips. Then I have one more that I worked on and this is a finish. So this is my oldest whip. This is, oh, you can see the little YR. This is the um, 2023 Galaxy High Low Temperature Sal. And it's all done on 42 different colors, 40, 42 or 44 different colors of DMC. And it is, I'm gonna move over here. And it was done the end of February this year. Oh, you can hear my kids screaming and yelling at each other. My daughter cannot stand that my son is playing. Whatever. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna go deal with the screaming children. So, I finished doing the beading, which was all I had left. And these beads, although you can't really see them very well on the thing, they glow in the dark. They were the Mill Hill glow in the dark um, clear beads. And it actually looks really nice. I might actually outline this again in the glow in the dark, in one of my glow in the darks. Possibly not the glow in the dark um, light effects. Because as I was saying, I don't know if I did. I have no idea what I said or didn't say at this point. But the glow in the dark light effects was giving me absolute conniptions. It was just, I could do three or four stitches and then it would rip or tangle or break or untwist. And it was just, it's terrible. It's fuzzy and it's terrible. So. Again, if you have any suggestions on how to deal with that, I only have that moon and a few little um, ghosties to do with it. Um, maybe potentially this. Maybe I'll just use the Krynic because I have some Krynic. That uh, Krynic uh, number four braid that I could use for this to outline the 2023 and the province and then Saskatoon. But it's done and now I can find another hoop like the black work hoop that I used and then I can frame
frame that and then I can put it up. Maybe I'll put it up down here. Who knows if, if my husband will let me put it up. That is all that I have. I might need to go deal with my children. So if I do, this will be the end of it. I didn't get anything, I mean, other than the stuff for the um, Halloween Quaker. I haven't gotten any haul this week, this month. Uh, I need to order the DMC, not the DMC, the uh, Crinex for the September Fairy. I want to get the um, holographic ones that it needs because um, they're very hard to find. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to deal with the uh, using blending filament by itself. Usually I've ever, the only time I've ever used blending filament is with like a another color so I'm not sure if that's right or if I should they don't have it in um, number four so I think that's why it's used like that so maybe if I use two strands we'll see I'll when I get it I've worked with blending filament a lot but not again not on it so I'm not without a carrier uh, thread I might need to find some um, condition like the little cube of silicone conditioner because that's what I used to use when I had this stuff. And like when I came back to stitching, I just didn't buy it anymore. Um, the only other thing I ordered, I ordered the uh, 40 count speculus. And I thought I had ordered a fat quarter, but I ordered a fat eighth. And so I guess I have to make another order or find another fabric for the um, Autumn is as Joyful stitch along that I'm doing with Steph Pocket Roddy for her birthday this month. So plans. Plans. Um, Blue Morpho. Turn it green. I gotta get some work on that done. Because uh, that's the round robin. I did send out my my tarot swap yesterday. Finally. Even though I had it ready two weeks ago. Um, what else? Those are the only ones that I have due. Uh, if I do get the fabric from Kaylee Tent Stitch, I will, um, I will, I, I guess I'm going to wait until, um, until I get the fabric and either a new moon or a, the next full moon to start along with everybody else. Um, Then, if I can find the fabric for uh, Autumn is a Joyful, start that with them. I do have other, like I do have like um, 32 count white, antique white that I can dye. Like I can tea stain it so that it's more autumn-y. Um, I just was kind of hoping for something a little bit more interesting. If that's if that makes sense. Um, other than that, I finally finished my thirty-five hours of work for my PMP certification. I'm gonna try to apply for PMP certification, um, but I might not have enough um, years of experience. You need three years of experience on projects where you are a lead project manager or accidental project manager. And I think I have a year and a half. So I might have to go for my CAPAM, which is the Certified Associate of Project Management. And then once I get the CAPAM, then I can start working towards getting my PMP. Um, so there's two more weeks before school is, done, is going back to session. I intend to start printing. I have a um, silhouette cutter, so I'm cutting little um, cards. Like you can see up there, I just used index cards and punched two holes in them. But I'm going to try and cut some floss drops of my own from like, like cardboard, like stock, 
that cardboard. And then just hang them up so that I can kind of get this place organized. And I'm working on a baby blanket. I got it half done. I'm just at the point of turning it in. Um, I have to do, what you have to do is uh, fold it and then you have to like bind it here. But I, I have to find the instructions again. So I have two of those to do and then get all the kids, school supplies, get the kids ready for school. Um, there was a number of things at the market that I was looking at, but I'm, I'm, I'm really on a no spend right now because uh, at the end of August, beginning of September is the uh, planner sale. Um, I usually buy my uh, next year's planner this year. It's like the one I was using is the Sterling Ink. So it's like a Sterling Ink um, traveler's notebook size vertical. And I liked it, but I want to go back to the one that I actually like, which is the uh, A5 Cousin Hobonichi. So that's my big expenditure for this month. And other than that, I don't know how to sign off. I'm going to go hunt down the children and see what they're doing because they were, they were screaming at each other and uh, I can hear my son running back and forth, probably chasing the dog or the cats and, you know, get them lunch, get my, my lunch, go take the dog out for a walk and um, then go back to work. So, sorry about this video. It's all over the place. I'm scattered and blah, as usual. Again, if you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Um, thumbs up. Yay! I love that. It's so cool. Um, and uh, we have small human's birthday. Uh, it doesn't like me today. Usually this should make you do, um, I think it's balloons. Let's try it again here. Oh, doesn't like it. Yay! Yay! So, yeah, this one is supposed to do, I think, confetti. Oh my god, it doesn't love me today! whatever. It's not going to work. But it was working before and it was just so cool. Um, yeah. Small human's birthday. Balloons. I don't know why it's not showing me the balloons. Well, well maybe we could just make it do the balloons. Let's make it do the balloons. Balloons. Here's the balloons. Small human's birthday on Wednesday. He's turning seven. Okay. And that's all I have to say about that. We're going to be quit being crazy and get the children fed and go back to work. <laughs> See you later. Bye.